So while I stand alone in the House Republican Conference in my rejection of PACs and lobbyists, I am never alone when I stand with you, the great people of the greatest country that has ever existed. Now, unlike the left and even some Republicans, the America First movement will never sell out to foreign interests abroad or special interests here at home. Our citizens come first, sorry, not sorry. Now, I'm a, I'm a canceled man in some corners of the internet. I'm a banned man in the state of New Jersey. The governor literally said I was unwelcome. Many days I'm a marked man in Congress, a wanted man by the deep state, but every day I'm a Florida man and it is good to be home. <laughs> Florida's, like, Florida's like an amazing woman, adventurous, beautiful, mostly sunny, sometimes a little crazy, and always here to encourage and support success. By contrast, New York is like a bad ex-husband. Mean, won't let you go out to dinner. You're less safe, financially spiraling downward, and they may kill your grandparents. Now the fake news media and their allies in Silicon Valley made Governor Cuomo out to be some iconic cross between King David and Tom Brady. What a big lie that turned out to be. According to former aides, Governor Cuomo was offering to replace staff meetings with strip poker. <laughs> Meanwhile, they were stripping Granny out of the COVID ward at the hospital and tossing her in the nursing home, just enough time to infect everybody and then go back to the hospital so that deaths could be recategorized for politics. How about freedom for young and healthy people, learning for students, opportunity for entrepreneurs? How about we ditch the lockdown governors like Cuomo and Newsom and Murphy and never ditch the American way of life and the American spirit. Now, now, speaking of all this bias, it was awful the way the media treated Ted Cruz. I mean, the left and the media were more worried about Ted Cruz going to Mexico to spend his own money than they are about the caravans coming through Mexico to take ours. They, you know, the greatest threat to our liberty is big government, and the second greatest threat to our liberty is big business, and there is no bigger business than big tech. The flow of digital information impacts every aspect of our lives. If we win the debate but lose the internet, ours will be the last generation of American greatness. They'll open the borders, lock down our businesses, and squelch even the faintest whispers of dissent. And here's what I don't get. Leaders in both parties have no problem flooding the deserts of the Middle East with American cash and American blood over the mirages of democracies potentially emerging far, far away. But they won't lift a finger here in our country to do what is necessary to preserve our republic, and that is to ensure access to the digital world for everyone, regardless of their politics.